My report uh, is hybrid names of cafes and restaurants in the communicative space of the city. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My name is Anna Isakov. I'm from Russia. Um, I'm a postgraduate student of University of Tiemann. Um, okay, hybrid names of cafes and restaurants. Uh, language contacts are of great importance in the modern world. The results of contact are not always obvious, but they have an impact on the spheres of life of its participants. One of these areas is the urban space, which presents a large number of various city objects, including cafes and restaurants. Uh, the names of cafes and restaurants reflect the national, cultural, religious, political, geographical and comedic characteristics of the city. Professor Maslow had already identified several fundamental human needs, which include the need of food. And it is always the need of an individual. The need of food is felt by John Smith, not by John Smith's stomach. Cafe and restaurants allow uh, satisfying this need and therefore are considered as a significant component of the urban environment and its communicative space. On the one hand, they are a place of communication, but on the other, they themselves are mediated participants in communication and are directly involved in the formation of the linguistic landscape of the city. During the global pandemic, uh, the communication space is uh, transforming in the urban place. Food places are no longer um, the place of communication, but continue to be participants in communication. The name of the restaurant and cafe becomes more important in comparison with other elements like interior, location, availability, etc. Maybe just on price. <laughs> As part of my research, I attempt to compare the naming system for cafe and restaurant in Tumen, Russia and Seattle. Uh, Tumen is a city in Russian Federation, the capital of the Tumen region, and is part of the rural federal district. The population of Tumen is um, uh, 7,000 and um, 88 um, and 700 people. Seattle is the largest city in the northwest of the United States and in the state of Washington, a major seaport. The population of Seattle 700,000 and 24,070 people. According to the Consumer Market Department of uh, the Tumen City Administration, Google Maps, and TripAdvisor, list of the names of cafe and restaurants in Tumen and Seattle were compiled. So in Tumen, uh, 1,500 lexical units and in Seattle 3,200 lexical units. Uh, considering the semantics of the names of cafe and restaurant in Tumen, we identified the following semantic groups uh, so that a proper name, uh, including name of famous personality like Buddha, Prokofiev, Fisenian, Carl Benz, um, Brother Grimm, Maxim, uh, Raniewska, Francois, Franz Kampf, Kafka, etc. Geographical topics uh, like uh, Star of Praga, Tumen, Siberia, Boston, uh, Wall Street, Samarkand, Florida, etc. Flora and Fauna, Dorado, Dodo Pizza, White Shark, White Tiger, Black Bear, and something like that. Food names uh, chocolate, sushi, shawarma, uh, shishlikov, pies, pirmen, uh, shashlik, maslik. And something like that. Literature and cinema, Orient Express, uh, free bogatures, free beers, Ni Gorinich, uh, Chuda Pechka, Chipolina, Shakirazada, Chili William, Black Pearl, Evenings on the Farm, Friends, House of the Orange Cow, etc. Buildings and structures near the house, most post office, Maison, Fazenda. etc. Household items, spoon and fork, samovar, tar plate. Idioms, uh, there is a burger call, how we love, appetizing, tasty, satisfying, heaven and hell, far from wives, let's order pizza, give two, professions and titles, pancake king, taxman, oilman, king, prince, colors, white tiger, white shark, white knights, white Russia, red, yeah, red dragon, something like that, numbers 24, uh, 333, 4 degrees, 7 city, uh, similar groups were identified in Seattle. Proper names Lola, Olivers Lounge, Jimmy's on Broadway, Jimmy's on First, Machiavelli Restaurant, Smith, 
<clears throat> geographical topics regular from Ipanema, taste of India, Virginia in the London Plain, Turkish delight, Kabul, Americana, flora and fauna, uh, cactus, restaurant, aquabal gocha, how to cook a wolf, cafe flora, wild ginger, brave horse, food names, pie, I love sushi, biscuit beach, palace kitchen, wasabi, Really famous sausage, honey hole sandwiches, art, uh, theater, zinzani, hard rock cafe, rumba, buildings and structure, tap house, grill, bastille cafe and bar, lunchbox laboratory, household items, uh, black bottle, out of the table, the red door, items that are more than baby, Erica, serendipity. Uh, professions and titles, Traho Queen, uh, Witness Bar, Queen Mary Tea, Carl's uh, Pepper Cafe and Wine Bar, Green Leaf Restaurant, Numbers also, uh, Free Coins Restaurant, Local uh, 360, 6 Arms, 2120, Super 6, 14 Carat, etc. And thus, uh, we examine the general semantics of the names of cafe and restaurants in Timon and Settle. The use of anthroponyms and plain names in the formation of new organisms will be common to all cities. Eleven semantic groups um, um, have been identified, uh, proper names, geographic topics, flora and fauna, uh, food names, art and culture, literature and cinema, buildings and construction, household items, physiological units and stable phrases, professions and titles, colors and numbers. The most productive way of word formation is lexical semantic. case of uh, the transition of anthroponym to ponym common noun into orgonym are revealed. Orgonym means uh, the names of a restaurant or cafe. Classification of word formation methods. The names of catering establishments or food places in human and settle are formed by morphological and non-morphological methods. Uh, among the names of, pub, um, of public catering establishments in human, the following word formation methods were identified. Um, thus, um, so that morphological methods um, um, aid in um, Russian suffixes. Um, like SK, um, OK, or something like that. Uh, morphological synthetic method, uh, subst uh, substantivation, um, lexical syntactic way, lexical semantic way, uh, metaphor and metonymy, uh, borrowings is one of the ways to create new names um, for cafes and restaurants in human. Uh, and so that in settle the following ways of word formation were identified morphological, uh, lexical synthetic way, lexical semantic way, impersonation, and also borrowings. Uh, structure of the names. The structure of the names of cafe and restaurant is heterogeneous in all cities, in uh, Tumen and in Seattle. We have identified one component. Structure in human like happy, smart, most in settle, uh, state site or fair conversation. Two component in human as back cuisine, a uh, check yard, uh, in settle, alibi room, collections, cafe. Three component in human cheese, ham and wine, or let's order pizza. Uh, in settle, staple and fancy, Elliot's or store bar, house, Ivor's fish bar. Four component in human from dawn to dawn. Uh, in settle, Ivor secrets of claim, serious pie and biscuit. Five components in settle, how to cook a wolf, for example. And six components in settle, sensei, food, restaurant and social bar. The most frequent are um, one component in human and two and three component in settle. Five and six component names have uh, not been identified in human. Hybrids. Language hybrids are a large class of names that include names with a foreign language component. The term linguist, uh, linguistic hybrid in English loan blends uh, was introduced by Professor Haugen. He uh, defined it like um, partly from native and partly from foreign material. Uh, there are various types of hybridization for native, lexical, intertextual, polymodal, functional, intercategory, um, explicit and ex implicit, established and occasional. According to the hypothesis of Noam Chomsky, language has natural properties and can be described with a deed. Uh, the linguistic and biological hybrids have one thing in common, superiority over their parents. Uh, the language hybrid is one of the results of the language game. 
which is an important component of the language, especially in the aspect of nominations. In the animation, the special technique of the language uh, game is used, since the names of cafes and restaurants uh, it were uh, cut off from the context. The graphic design of names is of great importance. Uh, Professor Zamaldinov noted five options for graph uh, hybridization, graphical hybridization, and um, motivated alteration of lowercase and uppercase letters or duplication, uh, graphical hybridization, quotation, apostrophization. The following types of graphical hybrid names were identified in the names of cafe. Uh, and restaurants in human and Seattle, in a fusion human uh, like Sushirita in Seattle, Hey Day, June Baby, apostrophization tumor in a, a Granny's Bar, Winchester, and Seattle, Perchena, Xen Needles, Las Cita, Seattle. Combinations of letters with numbers are uh, tumor 7, 7, CT, and 2 in Seattle, uh, 7 11. Combinations of letters with simple uh, symbols, tumor, Picasso, plus uh, in set uh, cafe uh, with using um, a sign ad. Combinations of lowercase and uppercase letters uh, in set of uh, yem da yem, like this, uh, and human in set of swell, swell restaurant with the presence of a foreign language word component in human candy tea, perman, in set of perman, dump, and so on. In human, uh, 1,853 names of food places were identified, among which are 556 names are hybrid. About a third of the names uh, include a foreign language component. A small part of the names as a result of the language game uh, have become graphical hybrid. They use various graphical elements. <clears throat> in Seattle, we identified uh, 3,035 names, of which are six thousand uh, six hundred and ninety-six names are hybrid. Only twenty percent are the names of cafe and restaurants created using foreign language components and non-language graphical elements. In accordance with the level of the language, we assume the presence of morphological and syntactic and lexical hybrids. In this study, the only written names are considered, so phonetic hybrids will not be identified. On the contrary, graphic ones can be detected. In addition, structural hybrids will be additionally highlight highlighted. These are names that include an ergonym of foreign language origin and a nomenclature term of the official or state language of the city. Uh, the following categories were identified in tumor. Uh, structural hybrids uh, like uh, athletic food, fitness bar, uh, syntactic hybrids like wake up coffee, uh, what building hybrids, uh, for example, big house, morphological hybrids like a gum, uh, graphical hybrids, um, yes, fresh. Um, the typology of hybrid names for Seattle cafes and restaurants it was also represented by five categories. Structural hybrids, Fed Dessert, Crepe de France, uh, Syntactic hybrids, Tom Polsky, Zaprowska Polish Home Association, uh, World Building hybrids, Burger Finia, Buryaki, Morphological hybrids, Sir Dave's, a Graphical hybrids, uh, Cafe with a symbol at the big cafe with a symbol at something like that. As that's the typology of hybrid names of cafe and restaurant in the communicative space of the city is represented by five categories. Structural, <coughs> syntactic, word formation, morphological and graphical hybrids. These categories are present in the organisms of human and set, which makes it possible to assert the university of this classification for organisms uh, of Slavic and Germanic uh, languages. The largest number of structural hybrids was found in human, uh, 68%, which is explained by the linguistic fashion reflecting the globalization process in the language, when the names in English seem more attractive than in the native language. A significant part is owned by well-known international companies such as Domino's, Pizza, Pizza Hut, Subway, Burger King, McDonald's, etc. In Seattle, they occupy an insignificant place, only 2% in the oral structure. In all cases, the active use of syntactic foreign language means was noted uh, when nominated culturing establishments. In the city of Tumen, uh, word formation foreign um, language means are also used. 
Instead, only four cases have been identified. In each city, the use of morphological foreign language uh, means was found in the naming of cafe. In human, 3%, uh, in Seattle, 10%. Uh, the usage of various graphic elements is found in all city and is characterized by the few spelling of letters and numbers. Numbers. The presence of foreign language graphics and irregular combination of lowercase and uppercase letters, and the use of the symbol at, at uh, Seattle Gone shows the usage of the mathematical symbol plus. Uh, thus, we examined uh, the structure of the hybrid names of food establishments uh, in Timon and Seattle. In Russia, the state official language is Russian, and in the United States, in most uh, states, there is no uh, state language, as I, as I know. De facto, it is English. In Timon, more than half of the hybrid names are foreign language um, and, as usually, English. Exceeding uh, the fifty uh, percent, the whole demonstrates a linguistic fashion for foreign names, which appear to the accuracy and the accuracy more attractive. The typology of hybrid names of food establishments reflects the general specifics of restaurant naming in Russia and the United States, and confirms the influence of globalization process on the communicative space of modern cities. Thank you for attention. Thank you, Anna, for your presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, I really liked the comparative approach you took. I think um, it really lends some interesting perspectives. You know, when you when you take a, a, a when you make comparisons, um, okay. and really interesting finding about the the differences in the in the uh, proportion of hybrid names, right, or foreign foreign influenced names. Um, that's quite quite interesting. Uh, I was interested. I was interested in um, knowing more about the graphics. So um, these like foreign influence names, are they also using uh, the foreign scripts or are they sometimes using the Russian alphabet as well? I, I'm interested in the semiotics of it as well, you know, what it, what it looks like in terms of uh, the alphabet used. Um, you mean in uh, humans' um, names yes. of right now? Yes. yes. Oh, uh, very often. Um, maybe, not maybe. Um, um, approximately 60% um, uh, of uh, the whole names of uh, restaurants and cafes in human are in, uh, um, in English uh, graphic. In English, uh, you, um, I used uh, with English uh, alphabet, in English but, language. But there were cases of English names with Cyrillic alphabet characters. Um, 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 would you say if English was used, it was always with the English, uh, with, with, with the English alphabet? Uh, with English alphabet, yes. Uh, just the name and the English alphabet, then so. Okay. Seems like we have a thank you. We have a question here from Dennis. Uh, do you think your detected trend of global forward naming will continue or decline after social and media changes due to the epidemic and changes in the political climate in the US? Mm. Great question. And if you want to read it, Anna, it's you can click on the ask a question button. I think um the language of uh, of the city, um, uh, I think um, um, the language of the city is very um, 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 is very in <laughs> just a minute. Um, I think um, different uh, political. Um, Political, economical uh, situation or problems um, may influence uh, on uh, the language of uh, of the city. Um, but uh, as for the names of restaurants and cafes, I think uh, it, uh, um, it it is more. It's more. Um, traditional <laughs> because um, the nominator um, maybe the owner of restaurant um, will uh, choose um, um, 
the name uh, which uh, more um, which will be more attractive to um, to people to the people and uh, to potential um, to, to the people and I think uh, English is a very very um, global language and uh, so that uh, I think um, many many yes uh, it uh, um, and the name in um, in English language or something like that in English language um, will be very popular for nominator, I think. So, in your view, it's a trend that will be continuing, that's not going away anytime soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. We had a we had a comment during your presentation here from Maria that said um, no, actually. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, no. Den I guess it was from Dennis as well. He said, Seattle has been through a boom in new restaurant opening for the past 10 years. Now all are takeout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... Yeah. that's I see. That's been an, uh, yeah, uh, an interesting um, thing to observe, right? The, in practices mm -hmm. and signage and in marketing strategies mm -hmm. of, of restaurants. Mm -hmm. Pandemia uh, changed everything. <laughs> and thank Anna once again for being with us today. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Hope you have a good evening. Mm -hmm.